hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel i guess and i hope you guys are all doing well okay on my channel basically i do skincare beauty and lifestyle guys on this channel you are going to learn a whole lot don't forget to subscribe just hit on that subscribe button hit it hit it and please guys you know if you don't subscribe you're not going to know or you're not going to be informed of when i drop a new video and please turn on your notification bell you are going to learn a whole lot from my videos on today's um video i'm going to be talking about five tips on how to take care of your skin during the hammer tan season you know the hammer tan is fast approaching and it's i think it's going to start from december through january sometimes it even gets to the um february and lasts for the whole of february and march we all experience this in Nigeria. So guys, the first one is for you to moisturize. I always talk about you moisturizing. You know, skincare, one of the most important steps in your skincare routine is for you to moisturize because it's going to help you to, um, I don't know, to hydrate your skin. This is the time to even bring back a good old Vaseline. This is the time to bring it back. You can use it on your, on your hands on your um, legs, on your neck. You can even use it on your, on your neck. Don't say, oh, because um, uh, because I already apply my skincare products, then applying Vaseline again would make it not to work. No, it will. It will your skincare products will still, will still work. Vaseline is very, very important during this season because Vaseline is also a very, very good moisturizer. This is the time for you to moisturize. Even if you don't want to use vastly look for moisturizing lotions or creams look for a good moisturizing lotion or creams this is not the time to start using chemical products during hamatan period is the wrong time to use chemical product you have to use a mild lotion or a mild cream that that has a very very strong moisturizing ingredients in them then the second one is you moisturizing your sensitive area sensitive areas like your elbow your your knee your knee your feet because these are the places that get very very dried during hammer town period they get very very dried and they crack if you see some people's feet during hammer town period then you are going to have a good laugh so this is the time to moisturize those places i, I i'm still going to say it using Vaseline is very important this period for me during that hamatan period I after applying my moisturizer my normal Moisturizing lotion. I apply my Vaseline on my legs on my feet Under my elbows and my knees for the and if you use Vaseline, you know that Vaseline is very thick for the whole of that day My skin is not going to look dried and cracked then the third one is for you to use mild products my dear this is not the time for you to look for ash ash soaps like this um clean and clear or for soaps that, that has astringents they will just wash away your the remaining moisture on your skin especially those of you that or those of us that have dried skin like me on my body i have dried skin apart from my face that is a combination skin my my body is very very dry that's why i don't joke with my moisturizers so if you know you have a dry skin during this summertime time period is not the time for you to start using a very drying soap this is the time for you to run away from african black soap i'm not saying this soap is bad fine it's a very very good soap because i can remember vividly during one hammer time period uh, some years back i was using this african black soap you know african black soap is not good for every skin i always say it it might favor some people and it won't favor you just know your skin type and what is good for you and apart from me having a dry skin i have a very very sensitive skin so i was using this african black soap during the hamatan period if you see what this because my skin is already dried and that soap is drying and I was not using a very good moisturizer then. So my skin became itchy, became scaly. They were, my skin was peeling off and I didn't know what, to, what was happening. I didn't know it was the African black soap combined with the Hamatan weather that, that was actually drying me up. So guys, please, 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 and please, throw, in fact, or throw away your ash soaps. Now look for a bite soap like Dove like sebamed 
look for a moisturizing soap look for a moisturizing soap to use it will make your skin look very very plump during this summertime weather then fourthly drink a lot of water drink a lot of water we are it's no longer news that drinking a lot of water is good for your skin is no longer news you know if you take in a lot of water it makes your skin look beautiful and during this summertime period our skin always look dehydrated and we tend to even drink a lot of water during hamatan period i don't know if you've noticed it during hamatan period people tend to like apart from people everybody tends to to uh test more as in they drink a lot of water during hamatan season so and if you do that if you do that your skin is going to look hydrated it's not going to look dried it's not going to look cracked People will even know you are in this country with us because your skin will look different. So drinking a lot of water is very, very, very important. Then lastly, lastly, bath in lukewarm water. I know for those of us or those of you that stays in the north, the temptation to bath or to have your bath with um, hot water as it will be so tempting. Apart from those people in the north, even those of us in the south here, yeah. during Hamatan season, the temptation to bath with hot water is very very tempting because of the cold but my dear don't do it because of your skin you know hot water wears off the most the moisture on our skin just use the lukewarm water for me i don't care how the cold is but i'm i'm just after my skin i just use very look uh, lukewarm water that is even almost cold but you know lukewarm to have my bath that will retain the we help to retain the moisture on your skin it's not going to dry your skin up it's not going to wear off the remaining moisture on your skin and please guys after bathing or after bathing please moisturize moisturize hamatan season is not the time for you to say i don't want to use cream or i don't like using creams or lotion at night morning and at and night use your cream or your lotion and make sure they are moisturizers this is not the time to say i, I don't like uh, using lotions or creams at night please guys use it because your skin is going to look like a disaster it's going to look all dried up if you don't moisturize and if you don't follow these five tips so guys this is where i draw the cutting on today's video i hope you learned a lot from this if you follow these five tips during the hamatan season you are going to testify please don't forget to drop your comments so guys bye have a nice day